want to talk about a little bit of my experience playing the electric guitar with a full worship band coming up Hello my friend, welcome back to the channel. This is Osabella from jbcreationstudio.com and if you're new here, consider subscribing. So, if you know this channel, I've been talking about uh, a lot about uh, music production, mixing, mastering, and recording. But I want to focus this video on how I am doing with my uh, playing guitar as a musician in the local church. Uh, so normally I was doing my arrangement when I was playing in my other church. I was playing the piano and most of the time I was alone. So I was doing my arrangement and my track. And sometimes I put those track in the community. Uh, but, as you know, but now that I'm joining this band, they already have the arrangement and everything. And they change the key of the same song. Uh, different time because they, they're different worship leaders so they adjust the song to their voice so they change the the song uh once i know the song i have to change the key so what i'm doing is i am preparing uh the charts myself in a google doc so i can then uh transport it to the right key when it need to be and I'm going to be using open core, you know, C major, G major, core open. And to do that in the guitar, that's why this is good to make the transportation. Because I'm going to be using a capo to, if, this is my C position. But if I have the capo number one, this is going to be a C sharp or D flat. And then I can use those open core. Uh, but then I don't have to do the bar. If I don't have the capo, I will have to do the bars. And that's going to be a lot of bars. And you know that's not natural in the guitar. So I bought uh, the Adario capo. The Adario capo. Electric guitar. This one have a, a screw here so you can adjust the tension. This is especially for electric guitar. I w always was using acoustic guitar but not electric. Uh, but now because uh, there's a lot of you know keys that are in flat or sharp uh, This is going to allow me to transpose, you know Using the G shape, but then this is going to be B flat uh, And then I have to then when I'm writing I have to put this as a G No as a B flat. So then I have to do the transpose in the do document so I can have them for future and then if I had to change it to A here you go, I'm using G shape, but now I'm in A, in the uh, second fret over here. So you have to do the work, and it's a lot of work, but it's worthy because then uh, you are more, you know, and then you can use first position, second position, third position. You're going to see it, but it, you, you got the idea. Um, and this is be very helpful. Uh, but then when you're doing the solo, then you have to be thinking on the right key. Then no more transportation. So it's kind of tricky. I'm going to show you a video of one song that we did uh, in D flat or C sharp. And then I was using the capo on fret number one. Uh, but then when I was doing the solo uh, or a little lick, I was then thinking on the position on... Uh, D flat over here, D flat or C sharp, and here over here, the other position. But you got the idea. So, how far you get some ideas? I inspired other thing. I don't play the bass when I'm doing the guitar because we have uh, bass players and we have the piano, which is doing double in the bass. So then, to for the guitar to be popping out out of the mix, I don't use much of the bass. I'm using short chords instead of the full C. I'm using C short and then C high in the second position or in the third position, and so and so. Uh, if that makes sense, so hopefully you get some ideas. And 
let me know if you like it and uh, if you want to see more videos about this and comment down below hope you enjoy it
So for my sounds, I have the Line 6 Pod for the effects, and then I have a sternal pedal for my overdrive or distortion, and I, st I stuck overdrive, light overdrive, and then I put a little bit more, so this is for my rhythm, and then this is for when I press this one along with this one, then I have a little bit more of dirt, uh, so it's stacking. And I have a couple of settings, so I have four, because I like to have a couple of settings uh, for different more uh, level of distortion or overdrive, if that makes sense. And then I have a wah pedal for a, a little bit more of rig. Uh, this is a Morley Bar Horse uh, 2, which is very good because it's not so much of the wah sound, it's just the like a facial effects that it's adding that I like. Well, I hope this was helpful. <laughs> Let me know you're coming. And subscribe, comment, and like, and see you next time. If you want me to, if you want to reach out to me so I can give you some lessons through Zoom, uh, let me know. I can do that too. See you. And remember, release any sound. It's inside of you. Bye.